Hey guys, as you can tell, I've got a few friends joining me for the video today. I've got all of the La La Loopsie girls, and as you can tell, we are quite obsessed with La La Loopsie in this house. Right now, we are collecting all of the La La Loopsie girls, which you see the majority of here. I think we are missing a couple in the photo, but we do have all of the La La Loopsie girls. The only two that we are missing are the new two uh, two of the new crazy hair La La Loopsie girls. These right here are the crazy hair. Um, Kennedy also put these little babies in here. <laughs> it's so adorable. Um, but if you stick around at the end of the video, I will give you a, a just a quick review of these two girls right here, the newest ones. But yeah, we are quiet consumed with La La Loopsie here. And we are doing a La La Loopsie hair clip tutorial today. And this is Jewel Sparkles. She is one of the more popular La La Loopsy girls. But Miss Jewel Sparkles, we're going to put her on a hair clip so you can wear anytime you want. Jewel Sparkles. Okay, and the supplies that we are working with, I am using some felt circles. I have got a couple of cream color circles. I've got a couple of pink and I've got a little bit of black. Now these measure around two inches in width. I'm also using small black buttons. You'll need the small ones for the eyes. I'm using a one inch bottle cap. I've got a few strands of corker ribbon and it's being shown to you on the dowels. All I have to do is remove it from the dowels and trim it. Um, you'll also need a little bit of hot pink. You'll need your black thread, a needle, your scissors, and of course your clip. Okay, like I said, I am using a few strands of corker ribbon. If you need the complete tutorial, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box. But um, pretty much all you do is wrap 3 8 inch ribbon around a wooden dowel. Attach clothespins, wet the ribbon, and place it in the oven on about 275 for 20 minutes. Allow it to cool, and then when you remove it, you have corked ribbon. Corker, not corked. All right, let me just show you really quick. And I'm using a light pink color. This is for Jewel Sparkle's hair. Okay, come off. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, see, corker ribbon. All right, very simple. So I'm just going to use probably two strands, but I went ahead and did three just to be safe. Okay, so I've got that corker ribbon ready. I'm just going to set it to the side, and we are going to work on Jewel Sparkle's face. Now I'm going to be using the two cream color felt circles, and again, these measure right at two inches. I'm also going to be using a pink felt circle, and this is going to be for the top of her head and the top part of her hair. You'll also need two little black buttons, and these are pretty small. They actually came in a pack with white buttons. They didn't have one with just black, so I got this. But you'll need two of those. I'm also working with a black thread. This is upholstery thread. It holds up fairly well. And you'll need a needle. And this is for sewing the button eyes on um, Jewel's face. I'm gonna take my pink um, felt circle and I'm just gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna cut right down the middle. Just like that. Because I'll need that flat side and the round side. Now I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm just going to glue the pink felt right here to the cream felt, just like this. And see, it's gonna leave the little bangs hairline right there. All right, so go ahead and glue these two pieces together. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue our two black button eyes on, and I've already um, threaded my needle and all of that good stuff. So now I'm just going to attach my eyeballs. Okay, now that I have added the button eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of black felt and I just cut it in these tiny strips. And I'm going to make little eyelashes um, for her eyes right here at the side. All I'm going to do is 
make like a little V cut, like as like if you were making a hair bow. Um, when we do the spikes on the hair bow, I'm just going to do a little V cut at the uh, corners of the black felt, and it looks like that. I don't know if you could see it. It's so tiny, and it's felt, so I'm not going to worry about it fraying. And I'm just going to snip it and then glue it right here under. Um, the side of one of the buttons and it'll just give it a little more detail over here like little eyelashes right there Okay, now for the next part This is up to you whether you want to do it this way or another way, but I've taken some of the um, the remaining pink felt and I have just clipped out teeny tiny circles. Um, they are not perfect, but these are going to be for her cheeks. Now, you can also take a pencil and dip the eraser in a little bit of pink paint and then apply it to her cheeks if you want. You'll have to let that dry, but I'm just going to be applying my little felt circles for the cheeks because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and trimmed three pieces of my corker ribbon, two measuring the exact same size and one being slightly smaller in size. I'm going to say I've got two that are three and a half inches and one that is about two to two and a half inches. All right, so that's gonna be for the hair. I'm also going to be taking my bottle cap and I'm going to be gluing my um, La La Loopsie head to the back of this bottle cap. This is totally optional. I just do it for added weight. All right, so I'm just gonna glue it right to the back of this flattened bottle cap. Now I'm gonna take that second piece of felt and I'm going to glue it to the back of my bottle cap here. However, I'm not going to make them um, completely the same like this. I'm going to stagger this one because I want some of it showing at the top like that. I want it showing from behind. So I'm going to glue it like that. Just stagger it. Just push it up just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take my first piece of corker ribbon, one of the larger pieces, and I'm going to glue it right here along the pink line, right at the top of her bangs, right here. It's going to go around just like that, if that makes sense. <laughs> Now I'm going to take the second large piece and I'm going to glue it right above this piece that I just glued down. And it's going to be touching this um, piece of felt that we staggered here at the top. Now do you see why I put that up there? We need a little height right up here. Okay, and you guys know what to do with the last piece. It's going to go right here on top and this is the smaller piece. You can take your scissors and give Jewel Sparkles a little trim because she is looking pretty raggedy right now. Okay, and now we are going to go ahead and make Jewel Sparkles crown. And I'm using this hot pink 3/8 inch ribbon. You'll probably want to use a shocking pink 3/8 inch ribbon, but of course. I'm moving and everything is being packed up and I cannot find my shocking pink. So we're going to compromise with a little dark hot pink. Okay, okay, moving right along. Okay, now to make Jewel Sparkles crown, I'm gonna take two pieces of 3 8 inch ribbon. Both of these measure about two inches in length. I am going to glue the ends together, just a little bit of hot glue to form circles, just like so, we want circles. We want two circles just like this. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to take my circle and see that line, the crease right there where we formed the two ends together. I'm going to press that right in the middle all the way down, just like this. We're going to flatten it out, and then I am going to fold the entire piece like a V. See, like a V. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue right here in the middle so the two pieces stay together. You just want it at the bottom of this V, right in the middle down here. See, just like that. All right, now I'm going to take the two pieces and we are going to glue them together. And they're going to look like this when we are complete. Looks like a little crown. All right, so just a little glue right here on the side and sandwich those little puppies together. Okay, guys, the only thing missing is her cute little stitched on mouth which you can do one of two ways. If you have a Sharpie or a marker, you can just stitch right here with a black Sharpie or a marker, or you can sew her little mouth on with a needle and thread. Okay, and when you have finished Jewel Sparkle's cute little mouth, you can add it directly to a lined alligator clip or the clip of your choosing or you can add her to the middle of a boutique style bow because you all you have to do is add just a little bit of glue and press her down in the middle but she is now complete all right guys but that's going to wrap it up for this lala loopsy tutorial if you do decide to make your own lala loopsy clip please visit the facebook page and leave me a photo because i would love to see what you come up with and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. All right, these are from the Crazy Hair Collection. They are Lala Loopsy Girls. We've got Cinder Slippers over here and Scoops Waffle Cone. Now, the difference in these dolls and the regular Lala Loopsy Girls dolls is the hair. Let's talk about the hair. The hair is actually like a wax-covered yarn, and it's really odd feeling. Um, I know why they make it like this. It's because you can. It's easy to style. I mean, you can curl it and it'll hold its shape. It just feels pretty odd to me. Um, let me show you the uh, Lala Loopsy Girl's hair right here. It's a plastic type. Um, you can pull on it and it curls, but this is the normal Lala Loopsy Girl right here. Get your arm down, girl. But um, yeah, this is the hair for the normal Lala Loopsy Girl, and this is the hair for the crazy hair. See, it's yarn, but in with the regular strands of yarn. This is a regular strand of yarn. Then we have the wax covered yarn right here and it's just see how stiff it is but you can bend it and curl it and cut it and uh, make the hair crazy so I guess that's why they call them crazy hair all right but this is cinder slippers she is pretty cute she's got a pretty um, party dress on look at her shoes they're clear like glass slippers adorable and they have pink bows hello we love bows all right, but that is Cinder Slippers right there. And here is Scoop's Waffle Cone, and she is my favorite from these two just because she looks like a ice cream sundae. Look at her hair. All right, so, but you can see the hair is stiff, and it just feels, it feels weird. When we first got them, it was more sticky than it is now. See, but you can curl it and it'll hold its shape. See, that's weird. Crazy hair. All right, but this is Scoops, uh, Scoops, <laughs> this is Scoops Waffle Cone. She's wearing a super cute dress, and here's her shoes. Look like, they remind me of mint uh, chocolate chip ice cream, and she has a cute little bow. It's 
turn her around. There is the crazy hair. All right, so each girl came with a pack of additional hair pieces, like here. And they also came with a curling iron and two little bows, two little hair clippies. And the object is to make their hair as crazy as you want. You are the hairstylist. So you take your curling iron and get a strand of this hair and you can curl it. Just wrap it around the curling iron and then remove it and see. <laughs> of course you don't want it going up that way, you want it going down. All right, but that is um, pretty much what you do. You style their hair, you can cut their hair and you can add more strands uh, to the hair. And to do that, you just get uh, a piece that's already inserted into her head. You would just wanna make sure it's one that's in her head. And then you just twist this in. You just twist it with the, uh, the normal hair. And you can add more hair. More hair and then you can cut it and just make it crazy. But these, they're pretty cute. Um, Let's get the other one. Yeah, they are cute dolls. I'm just really not a fan of the crazy hair. I know that's the whole purpose of the line is uh, to have crazy hair, but um, it just feels weird to me. I much prefer the normal uh, Lala Loopsy Girl's hair. Yeah, it's already crazy as it is, but um, but yeah, these are still cute, and um, we will definitely be getting the other two in this collection. They are just really not my favorite um, in this line, and we love the Lala Loopsy Girls ha uh, hair. We love the Lala Loopsy Girls line. But again, this is Cinder Slippers and Scoops Waffle Cone, and they are still pretty groovy.